Hello everybody, Azumi here running Surter Strikes, 8 star multi solo. First up is my favorite tank for a lot of connect battles, Kickboxer Ulin, with a lot of light damage going on there, and Feather Blade for healing. Then we got uh, uh, Aquaria with a lot of water damage, and she is mainly here for the passive of upping all your water damage. Third is going to be Witch Galvig, and just, again, a lot more water damage on her. I wish I would have got another one of these Giga Magic Bows, because it might will be stuck at 4 star forever now. And Nautica is fourth, and I'm particularly using this costume because it hits the farthest row, and ups your skill gauge, but also does 30% bonus to Beast. And just a, a lot more water damage. And last is DL. With the exact same thing. And you're probably going to want to use high flame rings on 8 star. And regular flame rings on 7 star. So here we go. Demon Surter is in the melee road. And is Yotun and is considered to be grounded. His action skill, Blazing End, does 140% fire attack damage and burn for 3 turns to the nearest enemy row. This does 20% bonus damage to Aesir and the burn effect applies to Aesir and Beast. His auto skill is fire attack damage and burn for 3 turns to all heroes in the connect battle. Again, this does bonus damage to Aesir and burn effect applies to Aesir and Beast. The most effective elements are going to be water and light. Um, he also has Eclipse Field on the second and third HP bars, so keep that in mind for what heroes you use because that will affect your healing somewhat. The dark row of crystals are in the melee row and does fear to two random heroes for two turns. And buffs Surtur's defense and magic defense. The fear effect applies only to Aesir and Beast. The fire crystals are in the range row and do fire attack damage and burn and fear for three turns to the front hero. This does bonus damage to Aesir and burn and fear effect applies to Aesir and Beast. Additionally, at 7 star, these crystals have a flame field and a high flame field on 8 star. Um, some other heroes that you could use for this are going to be Musician Art, Awakened Frig, um, Valkyrie Erd is a decent healer, um, Awakened Vidar is a really good choice. Just make sure that you have something on him to kind of counter fear, but his passive will usually make him good enough. Um, you can use Envy, Awaken Sif is a, is a decent choice, um, Magus Ipsum, even Gother can work. Just be wary of the fear, which usually is kind of negligible in this game. Most of the time I don't even bother to worry about it. And really... You just want to hit him with water and light damage. All of his other resistances are either medium or really high in the case of fire. But um, you're going to need water and light damage to Crystal Crush anyway. And as you can see, three of my characters are do not have Eclipse Field, but... I'm killing him fast enough to where it really doesn't matter. Ulan takes a little bit of damage because she's constantly getting hit by everything hitting the front row. But again, the speed that I can clear this really makes everything else kind of negligible. Goes to Dark Crystals. No effect, no effect, dodge. Eclipse, to me, is one of the easiest fields to deal with. Gravity is kind of a pain. 
Uh, void is actually really easy to deal with because a lot of the times you can cheese that by using non-void characters. But Eclipse is just kind of cuts back on your healing. So if you can just deal with that, then that's not bad. And let's see our total damage here. Oop, there we go, and that's it. Have a good day.